So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Assemblyman Rory Lansman, and it is such an honor to be standing here with my family and my friends and my supporters <coughs> to formally announce my candidacy to represent all of us in the United States Congress. I was born in Bayside, just a few, uh, a few miles away from here, and I lived there for the first uh, five years of my life. I grew up with my mom in Kew Gardens Hills in a rent-stabilized apartment. I went to school right here in the 6th Congressional District, including Queens College, where I met my beautiful wife. And like most people I know, I worked a variety of jobs growing up to contribute to my family, and put myself through school. I drove a cab at night and sold soda and peanuts at the Old Shade Stadium. One of my proudest and fondest memories uh, as a New Yorker was working at Shea the night the ball went through Bill Buckner's legs. And when my wife and I bought our first home, a small attached house, it was in this district. And when we bought the home we live in today, it was in this district. Now you might joke, hey, you didn't get very far. <laughs> but I would answer, where else would I want to go? This district, the boundaries of it may be technically new, but it's not new to me. The neighborhoods of this district are interwoven into the fabric of my life. Queens is in my DNA, and I've dedicated my life to serving it. There isn't a community in this district that I haven't either lived in, played in, worked in, or served. I was proud to serve our communities and my country in the Army as an infantry officer in New York's own 42nd Infantry Division. I was proud to serve on my community board for 16 years, fighting to preserve our quality of live life. I was proud to serve as chair of the Queens Hospital Center Community Advisory Board ensuring that every Queens resident has access to affordable, quality health care. And I am very proud to be serving so many communities in the 6th Congressional District in the State Assembly. As an Assemblyman, I wrote the law which protects authors and journalists who expose terrorists and their facilitators. Now, Congress passed that law and made it national soon after. So I guess I can say I've already passed my first law in Congress and I haven't even got there yet. Yeah. I wrote the law that protects citizens who see something and say something from harassing lawsuits. I wrote the law that ensures that New York City employees who are called up to active military duty are paid fairly while defending our freedom overseas. I passed the law that allows parents and community members to receive instant email alerts when a sex offender moves into their neighborhood in order to protect our families. And I wrote the law requiring the state to focus on the anti-terrorism security needs of New York's nonprofit institutions to keep us all safe, especially communities of faith. That is especially relevant today, where a gunman murdered four people, including three children, outside a Jewish school in France. Shame on Congress for cutting Homeland Security funding for nonprofit institutions. I led the fight for tax fairness in New York so that middle, uh, middle class New Yorkers are not the ones bearing the entire burden for getting our state's fiscal house in order. I took on the folks on Wall Street that crashed our economy, fighting for a law that would allow New York's pension funds to recover billions in losses that occurred due to Wall Street fraud. I took on the banks and I passed the law, which gives homeowners the same rights as banks in foreclosure proceedings. When Americans look at Congress today, they don't see their representatives fighting for the things they care about. Things like a job with, with pay that keeps up with expenses, a secure retirement with a reliable pension, a college education without crushing debt, a tax system that honors work and not just wealth, and a stock market that grows our economy instead of wrecking it. The simple truth is that the deck is stacked against working Americans, and this Congress isn't doing anything about it. 
we've seen the income, income gap get larger, the middle class get smaller, and opportunity disappear. Since 2002, middle class salaries in this country have flatlined, even as productivity has risen. Meanwhile, the top 1% have seen their incomes double. Nearly 60% of Americans have no retirement saving plans whatsoever. Most who do are at the mercy of a stock market, stock market that more closely resembles a rigged casino than an engine of economic growth. The annual increase in the cost of college tuition has outpaced the cost of living every year since 1983. A bachelor's degree at a private college after four years cost $114,000 in tuition and fees. It's like graduating and having a mortgage, but no house. And Mitt Romney, presumed to be the Republican nominee, pays a lower tax rate than the folks standing behind me because our tax system is rigged to benefit the super rich. Here's the most troubling fact of all, and this is why I'm running for Congress. A child born today to middle-income parents is more likely to move down the economic ladder in adulthood rather than up. That's not the America I grew up in. That's not the America I want our children to grow up in. And when I get to Congress, I'll do the hard work to make sure our economy works for everyone so that any kid from any neighborhood has a fair shot to make it in America. That's my wife, why my wife came to America, and my in-laws are here as well, when the Jewish community had to flee the Islamic Revolution in Iran. That's why all of us, or our parents, or our grandparents, or our great-grandparents, came to America to have a fair shot at the American dream. That's what I'll fight for in Congress, and that's why I'm running. I'm going to compete very hard in every community in this district. Elmhurst, Maspeth, Middle Village, Glendale, Forest Hills, Rigo Park, Kew Gardens, Kew Gardens Hills, Wirewood, Jamaica Hills, Pominock, Alechester, Hillcrest, Fresh Meadows, Hollis Hills, Bayside, Bayside Hills, Auburndale, Broadway Flushing, Casino Park, Flushing, and, and right here, Station Road. I look forward to a big victory on June 26th, a big victory in November, and making a big difference in Washington as your congressman come January. Thank you all very, very much for being here.